Vinitsia, Ukraine, Oksana Urbanska walked through the rubble in the center of her native city Thursday, voicing fury at what she described as a deliberate strike against civilian buildings, including a medical clinic and local shops. You can see for yourself, this is where regular people will live. There is a baby who died. She and her mom were walking to a school for little kids. There is no military value or object here. Maxim Budko was one of the civilians in the square when the Russian cruise missiles struck. At least 23 people were killed, including three children, and dozens more were sent to the hospital, the Regional Emergency Service Department said. I was there using the ATM, Budko told NPR. I heard the whistle, then I heard an explosion. Everything started falling and flying. I got up and covered my head, then I heard the second blast. Late Thursday, rescue crews were still digging through rubble. Ukrainian officials said more than 40 people were still unaccounted for. The attack on this small city, a hub for humanitarian efforts and home to the headquarters for Ukraine's tiny air force, has shattered the sense of safety here. The strike involved at least three caliber cruise missiles launched from a Russian submarine in the Black Sea, said Serhii Borzov, the Vinitsia regional military administrator. While one of the buildings hit Thursday is sometimes used by the Ukrainian military for ceremonial events, local officials said it was most often used for theater performances and religious services. Yuri Ignat, a spokesman for Ukraine's Air Force, told NPR that none of the structures damaged had any military or strategic value. Russians don't just want to force the government of Ukraine to surrender, Ignat said, as he stood in his military fatigues next to the bombed-out buildings. They also want to force the Ukrainian people to surrender. They want to break us down. But after what they did here, no one is going to surrender. Thursday's attack came as representatives from more than 40 countries, along with officials from the UN Office of Human Rights and the International Criminal Court, had traveled to The Hague to coordinate war crimes investigations in Ukraine. Cars and tramps were on fire. This is an audacious act of Russian terror, said Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, speaking to the gathering by video link. People couldn't do that. They are beasts. Zelensky went on to urge mandatory and principled punishment for all Russian criminals. The International Criminal Court's top prosecutor, Karim A. A. Khan, said, at a time like this, the law cannot be a spectator.